There's been a lot of talk about the death of rock in recent years. Admittedly, rock's popularity in the mainstream has waned a bit over time. The old guard are still out there working it, but new success stories are few and far between. That is why it's so refreshing to see such an uncompromising rock outfit like Blind Channel make waves in a big way. For many, Blind Channel are still newcomers, and very few know just how long of a journey they've had to be where they are now. That is why it's time to shed some light on Blind Channel and see how they've become one of the top bands to come out of Finland in recent years. The story of Blind Channel begins in Oulu, more specifically the Maretoja Music High School. There, singer and guitarist Joel Hokka decided in the spring of 2013 to start a band capable, at the very least, of conquering the world. Finding suitable bandmates took some time until guitarist Jonas Porko jumped on board. Through him, they were also able to recruit bassist Olli Matela and drummer Tommi Lalli. The group's second vocalist, Nico Moilainen, meanwhile, was recruited in a roundabout way. The band had witnessed Moilainen rapping along to Linkin Park at a house party one night, which made an immediate impression on the fledgling group. They invited Moilainen to their rehearsals, and soon he was made a member of the band. Dubbed Blind Channel, the group soon began writing their own material, which was heavily influenced by the likes of Linkin Park, Enter Shikari, and 30 Things to Mars. To underscore their unique sound, Blind Channel dubbed their style of music Violent Pop, which combined their heavier rock and metal influences with electronics and rap music, without forgetting the nuances of pop. It didn't take long for the group to release their debut single, Save Me, which found its way onto the playlist of one of Finland's biggest radio stations, Yle Ax. In 2014, Blind Channel won the Wacken Metal Battle competition, which allowed them to perform at Wacken Open Air in Germany. The competition also helped Blind Channel secure a recording contract with Ranka Kustannus. The band's debut album, Revolutions, was released in 2016. It garnered positive reviews, with Chaos Scene stating, Blind Channel have wanted to breathe new life into Finnish rock with their music, and in that, they've succeeded. Revolutions also charted at number 26 on the Finnish albums chart. After releasing their debut album, Blind Channel toured tirelessly across Finland and the Baltics, opening for Simple Plan and Amarath. The group also found time to record their second album, Blood Brothers, which was released in 2018. The record reached number 30 in Finland and received equally positive reviews as its predecessor. Chaos Zine wrote, One can't deny while listening to Blood Brothers that Blind Channel have been able to create an album that doesn't pale against their debut. A successful album naturally opened more doors for the band. They toured across Europe in 2018, opening for The Hollywood Undead and All That Remains. Blind Channel also embarked on their first headlining tour across Finland and Europe. Blind Channel's third album, Violent Pop, was released in 2020. It reached number 31 in Finland, with Chaos Scene remarking how Blind Channel had woven into a well-oiled and energetic package. The album's most noteworthy quality, however, laid in the song Time Bomb, which featured producer and DJ Alex Matson. Clearly, he hit it off with the band, as later that year, he became the group's sixth member. Unfortunately, all upcoming tour plans had to be cancelled due to the burgeoning COVID-19 pandemic. This left Blind Channel in a tight spot, forcing them to seriously contemplate their future. A lot had been achieved in the last seven years, but Blind Channel were still far off from conquering the world as Hokka had once dreamed. He and Moilan have later admitted considering whether they should have just thrown in the towel at this point. Blind Channel had reached that all too familiar make or break situation. Either they finally make it big or break up. With this mindset, Blind Channel set about working on new music, of which we got our first taste in January 2021, when Blind Channel took part in Finland's contest of new music with their song Dark Side. At this point, you could argue that the rest is history, but as the band themselves would probably say, this is where the story really begins. Blind Channel ended up representing Finland in the Eurovision Song Contest, in which it placed 6th, which was Finland's second highest ranking of all time. The exposure they got from Eurovision gave the band a whole new fanbase and an international recording deal with Century Media. 
The band released several new singles and received six awards at the Finnish Grammys, including Song of the Year and Band of the Year. This all culminated in the release of their 2022 album Lifestyles of the Sick and Dangerous, which shot up straight to number one in Finland. The band capitalized on their momentum with an extensive European tour in the fall, which came to an end at the Helsinki Ice Hall in December 2022. Blind Channel's participation in Eurovision has undoubtedly left a mark on the band. Like they themselves have admitted, to many they are still a relatively new band. The truth is, many probably don't even know about the long journey Blind Channel has had to become one of Finland's biggest exports. In that sense, Blind Channel are very comparable to Finland's other source of Eurovision pride, Lordi. Like Blind Channel, Lordi had a long career behind them before they took home the gold in 2006. This brought Lordi a brand new audience and huge popularity across the land. Time will tell how Blind Channel will fare. Will they be able to sustain their newfound upwards momentum, or are they just the flavor of the month? One thing is clear though, few bands have been able to stir up the same level of hysteria and devotion in Finland as Blind Channel. Keeping that in mind, Blind Channel's chances of world domination aren't looking so bad after all.